guys so I got a lot of requests on my past two videos to show you how I've been doing my hair and pretty much this is something that I do when I really don't have time to do my hair it's really it only takes me about 15 minutes to do and I actually do this kind of hairstyle when I go to school either I throw it up in a bun or if I have 15 minutes um, then I'll just do this kind of like you know kind of tame it down because I have really really big crazy hair so anyways today we're gonna be using a product that I haven't featured in any of my videos before it's going to be the Coriolis classic straightener which comes in a little box like this and this is actually the red leopard design so let me just kind of give you a close-up of the design of the flat iron so here it is and let me just tell you that when you have a good straightening iron that actually curls your hair you don't need to invest in any more curling iron and you don't need to invest in any more curling irons because you have two in one so here we have the ceramic plates and then just to kind of briefly show you what it does so the temperature goes from 140 degrees Fahrenheit to 410 degrees Fahrenheit so you can go really really hot if you have really thick coarse hair but I actually turn it up all the way up to 410 because I find it that it does my hair a lot quicker and all I need to do is just one swipe twist and then my hair is nice and flat from the top and it's nice and curled from the bottom so I usually like to keep it where it's really really hot but if you have really thin hair because I have some friends with really really thin hair I would go 140 to even in the middle 240 at the highest but my hair it's not thin and it's not thick either but I could pretty much do whatever I want to it plus it's really healthy right now anyways so another, another thing that I did notice was that it left my hair shinier than it looked at the beginnings which was really cool because I have another Coriolis and I actually did a video about a year ago on it showing you how I curl my hair with a straightening iron and a lot of you were like what did you put on your hair it's like so shiny and I didn't put anything it was all the blades so anyways that's pretty much it all the information if you want to know anything else and it has this really cool grip too so if you wanted to kind of look at it it has a really cool grip so you don't like slip and like burn yourself also, a lot of you were asking me to do back to school hair because I did mention that I wanted to start a series for more doable hairstyles. So, this is the first one. I hope you guys like it. Very easy and it looks very effortless because the curls are not like one, you know, it looks like one big curl on each side. It's not like really tight curls. It's really nice and manageable and it's beachy first day of summer hair. So I think that's what I'm going to call it. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time, if you have any more questions, let me know down below and I will talk to you guys on my next video. Bye! Right, so we're going to start. We're going to take it off the packaging. Simply open it and then take it off and it's wrapped in bubble wrap. So I'm going to take it off and I actually like to keep the bubble wrap, especially this one because it protects the blade. So take it out, just set it to the side. So we're just going to turn this sucker on and we're going to turn the temperature all the way to 410. You can manage the temperature inside by the little wheel. So I'm actually going to keep it at 410 degrees because I find that when it's hotter, like when it's my hair is not done and it's at the highest temperature, my hair gets done quicker. So it saves me a lot of time in the morning and a good way to know that if it's on, it's by that little light in here. So. That way you won't forget to turn it off. I don't know if you can see it. Yep, there we go. See? And we're going to start off by taking my hair down. Just had to turn the fan on because it gets really hot in here. And I have all these hairpins in here. I'm going to show you how big my hair is. This is how it looks naturally. So it's really, really huge. I have a lot of hair. This is freshly washed hair from last night and all I did was um, after I towel dry my hair I fell asleep and then I woke up and then this is what I get so um, I put it up in a bun this morning which I think gave it a lot more waves but anyways obviously like with any other look if you're gonna use a um, hot tool you want to use a product that's going to protect your hair against the heat especially if you have um, damaged hair already but if you don't you still want to use it to prevent so anyways I'm just gonna take a heat protectant and spray my hair very lightly 
spray a little on the ends kind of concentrate the product there a little more that's usually where the driest part of your hair is now I'm going to fluff up my hair by just taking a brush and combing my hair so I don't have any knots or anything and this is also going to help distribute the product okay so now you see my hair it's really really fluffy and the waves are not really that defined anymore but the first thing that I'm going to do is work with the lower half of my hair and for that you want to section off your hair and I'm just going to part it kinda of like if you were doing a half ponytail and just get all the hair up and twist it into a little bun and either secure it with a scrunchie or a hair clip. I like to use a scrunchie when my hair is thick. So now I'm going to take the bottom section and I'm going to divide it into two more sections. Just make sure everything's nicely combed out. Like that. Alright. So, now we're going to start working with this hair. And what I like to do is take small sections of hair. Let me just move my mirror. Take small sections of hair. And I also like to keep a um, teasing comb just so I can make sure I can run run it through and I don't have any knots or anything like that. Plus, at the end, it's going to be a lot smoother. So what we're going to do is take our straightening iron, and you can curl with a straightening iron if the edges are round, like this one. So it's like, you don't have to buy a curling iron if you have one of these, because you have both in one. So what I'm going to do is start by straightening out the top part, and then once I get towards the end, maybe about two inches, I'm going to curl it outward away from my face and then I'm gonna get this alright you just toss it to the back section and make sure that you do it about two inches and nothing else if you want to curl all the way from here then you can start twisting the straightener away from your face in whatever direction like whatever um, height you want it to I guess so if I want it here I start twisting here but we're not going for that we're just gonna smooth it out and then we're gonna twist it away and then pull it through and voila like that so pretty much I'm gonna go ahead and do this throughout the bottom set and then I'm gonna come up here and show you each layer so you, I can give you an idea of how many inches to kinda start twisting it from the bottom up if you want you can go about maybe even three inches but one inch to two inches at the bottom first layer it's like the best. So I'm going to go ahead and continue and then I'm going to be back and then I'll show you guys how to do the next layer and how this one's going to look. So let me just show you the before and after. This is the nice and sleek side and these are the curls at the end and then this is the really fluffy other side and you can see how my hair shrunk about maybe an inch, maybe a little more. So if you extend it it's still pretty long. Okay, so we're going to let this cool down and then um, don't spray any product until the end, but just let it cool off and try not to touch it. And then I'm going to go over here and work on this side. Alright guys, so we're done with this first section and then what you want to do is just run your fingers through your hair. And if you curl them all the same direction, well opposite, away from your face, they're all just going to kind of blend out together like this just kind of turn into one big curl. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to start by parting it section by section like that. Alright. This layer is actually still kind of long. So we're going to curl maybe about half an inch towards the end. So we're going to start with the back and just like any other section you want to run a comb through it and then grab your straightening iron and bring, bring it down very slowly. And then here, just curl the ends. So you have something like that.
we're done. You can turn this baby off. We just switched the button. Now, I don't want to deal with bangs because they're really, really hard to deal with. Um, I'm really actually very excited for them to grow out already. As you can see, I cut them about right here last month, and this is how much they grew. A lot. So, what we're going to do now is um, I'm actually going to just kind of brush this hair to the back. We just switched the button. Now, I don't want to deal with bangs because they're really, really hard to deal with. Um, I'm really actually very excited for them to grow out already. As you can see, I cut them about right here last month, and this is how much they grew. A lot. So, what we're going to do now is um, I'm actually going to just kind of brush this hair to the back. We are going to separate the rest of the curls. So let me just go up a little higher so you can see. And just mess with them because you really want them to look very natural and not really done. Okay. And now to smooth out the hair, what you want to do is just take any kind of like smoothing serum or like a spray or anything like that and then just rub it in between your hands and then grab your hair and apply this to the ends. This is going to make it really nice and shiny. Take a very flexible hold hairspray and just mist it just like that. I can't breathe that in. Whew. On these baby hairs. I'm going to take this and brush them so they stay put. Just like that. So it's a very, very simple back to school hair. Pretty much completes the whole look. Very simple and a lot of you also wanted to know how I do this because I've been doing this kind of hair on my last few videos. So if you guys want to know where to get this product, just check the link down below or go to dulcecanny.com for more fashion and outfits of the day and stuff like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it and thanks for coming by and checking out my channel. So I'll talk to you guys later and don't forget to check out dulcecanny.com.